bother all of you all, but as you can see, this whole room is a big um, dumpster fire, but you know what? That's fine because we about to leave it, so let's get it, let's get it, let's go. It's been 10 seconds in this vlog, and I just realized that my lens was zoomed in like that. Oh my gosh, no, my room probably looks so small. But anyway, good morning, how are you guys? Yeah, it's... It's a lot going on. So I'm basically just like deconstructing the little things and stuff like that, trying to organize everything the best I can. I have two backpacks over here that I'm just trying to put stuff in. And basically I can't really do any like heavy, heavy stuff until my mom comes here with um the bags and the boxes and stuff, which she should be here by eight o'clock or I think she was leaving by eight o'clock, but either way, I'm just chilling but i um sign out by 10 which is three hours from now and since i already moved half my stuff out on the 8th which is why it seems so empty in here at the beginning of this video it helped me a lot made a whole checklist and at this point with the um 6 45 to 7 50 a.m slot that i made for myself i should be assembling things in the car taking down my um black excellence pillar all those posters and stuff taking down my lives and then wiping down the walls of any scuffs which there are and i'm gonna show you right now so yeah these are very faint but if you see right here there's a mark right there it's like a whole slew that sort of like makes into a curve from when i took down my freaking um portable um sound barrier for my microphone and for my podcast and stuff so scuffs from there there's some there's a little bit of a um scuff right here basically most of the scuffs are around my bed area because i took stuff up and down from this freaking bush over here it's from my desk like right here this little scuff mark and i bet there's some like um down here from when i was this um, oh yeah there is it's right there. I'm not I'm not trying to get children just to use dry walls which is easy to scuff up. It feels dry to the touch like easily anybody could scrub off their hands and stuff like that. Yeah that's that's what I'm doing. Yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing because I don't know if you guys are gonna see it but I'm just doing a I'm gonna finish up my breakfast and then I'm gonna start moving these big items out so that way I have more floor room so that way I can walk around and then you guys can see me take down my um pillar wall stuff and also yeah because I can't really move this um grid thing off the wall until I like move the desk over so mm. I'm so glad I made this coffee all I made it yesterday and it's so cold and it's so good forever but that's done and it is um shoot 903 so my mom should be coming over soon she had a whole little about a big box for my shoes and stuff like that but hey at least everything is off the wall so that way i can clean them all off i need to tend this bathroom because as you can see i have stuff here and also because i took a bath this morning i have to clean make sure that the tub is clean because i did cause that so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still fucking over this guys but we're almost done this isn't all gonna fit in here, is it? Even if I had to put these all in here, things are not all gonna fit. Bro, <laughs> no, this is not all gonna fit, dang it. Do I need some right in here? Because I bought it. There we go. Oh, gotta go for my mom. Time to go meet her. Come on, elevator, don't fail me now. experience let me just say overall it's not worth it living in the dorms is overrated and it ain't all that and to think that i went from this opened the door and wow that's all i had to say like i was like this 
to now this. It's a full 180 turn from the, what, seven, eight months? Nine, give or take. Months that I was in that dorm? Yeah. My heart goes out to them out of state kids. Ooh, child, I can't even imagine moving your stuff up, putting it in storage, and then flying back home for the summer, and then have to come back and do all that again. Possibly for the rest of your college career for four years, I can't imagine, so my heart goes out to them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and pack a majority of the stuff, probably either half or a third of this stuff, because not only do I have the stuff that's behind me that I moved out, but I still have stuff for my pack and pick from April 28th so like just my um mostly my vanity stuff actually that's in this area right here but I'm not gonna show you guys that because I think that if I do I'm gonna drag this vlog on for too long and I want this to be short and sweet versus my movement which didn't have that great of a reception and at 32 minutes yeah I think I was doing too much so let's just keep this short and sweet but yeah guys that is the end of my freshman year wow that really went by fast and the thing is it hasn't even been a year since I graduated high school and left prom. Like, I graduated um, high school, I think, on May 20th? May 20th or May 21st. And then my prom, of course, was two and a half weeks earlier, I think, on May 14th. I knew it was on a Friday or a Saturday, but all of that hasn't... It hasn't even been a year yet. Well, time... Time is a funny thing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the next time y'all see my dress, this whole room gonna be decluttered, and who knows, I might be doing a big haul sometime soon because I got a lot of um, redecorations for this room. Peace out, y'all.